This article is a preview of the Tech Friend newsletter. Sign up here to get it in your inbox every Tuesday and Friday. Some police departments and news organizations have been warning people about what they say are safety risks of a new iPhone feature called Name Drop that you can use to share contact information wirelessly. The truth. Name Drop is quite safe. The warnings about this technology are wildly exaggerated. Chester Wisniewski, a digital security specialist at Sophos, called the warnings about Name Drop, hysteria, and nonsense. So you shouldn't worry about name drop. But you should worry that police and news organizations are failing you by sounding false alarms about technology. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time. Despite warnings from law enforcement and others, it is safe for nearly everyone to use public Wi-Fi or plug your phone into chargers in places such as coffee shops and airports. And contrary to scary messages recently from French regulators, there's little radiation risk from your smartphone. There are plenty of things that are legitimately scary about the technology in our lives without wasting your energy worrying about negligible risks such as name drop. I'll walk through the truth about name drop and how to turn it off if you prefer. No matter what, though, everyone in a position of authority needs to do better to separate the legitimate fears about technology from fearmongering. That's Apple's name for a feature recently introduced for newer iPhones and Apple Watch devices. When your Apple device and someone else's come very close together, you might see a pop-up message asking if you want to save the other person's contact information or share a photo. This feature works slightly differently from a similar Apple feature called AirDrop that terrible people sometimes abuse to send profane photographs to strangers nearby. AirDrop works with Apple devices that are roughly 30 feet or so away from one another, and if you have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on for your phone. Apple says that name drop only works if your Apple device is within a few centimeters of another one. For those of us clueless about the metric system, that's roughly an inch or two. Each of the devices needs to be unlocked for name drop to work, and you have to pick which pieces of contact information you want to share. There is always a risk that a creep or crook gets within a couple of inches from your phone and you mistakenly agree to share your contact information with them. But it's unlikely that you'll share contact information without intending to. Why then? have police departments in Pennsylvania, Ohio, Oklahoma and other places posted similar Facebook messages warning about the privacy risk of name drop. I don't know, I have instructions below if you want to turn off name drop. But it's also fine if you don't want to bother.